Hello, so today I'm going to try and explain quantized inertia very simply by uh, using drawing. So here it goes. I'm going to try and share the screen. I'm using paint. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, the first thing to do is to imagine an object. this which is accelerating towards the right shown by this arrow now according to special relativity a horizon will appear to its left and everything beyond this horizon will be off limits to the object you will not know about it information will not be able to make it to catch up to the object which is accelerating this way now because of the honor effect this object We'll also see an awful lot of under waves in front of it. So you'll see in the waves of this wavelength, you'll see under waves of this wavelength, you'll see very long under under waves of this wavelength. But between the object and the horizon itself, only certain waves, such as this one, will be allowed. This is very reminiscent of the Casimi effect, where you have two plates like that and outside the plates which are very close together all sorts of wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation can exist but between them only a few wavelengths can exist like this one and this leads to a force which pushes the Casimir plates together and it's been observed and it's called the Casimir effect in the case of our object this means the object itself we pushed towards the horizon and I managed to show in a paper in 2013 that this force here looks just like inertial mass or is very close to inertial mass and the deviation from it enables you to predict galaxy rotation without dark matter. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little explanation of quantized inertia and I'll return soon to explain some more. Goodbye.